I'm here with Mark Class of the Class Kids Foundation. And Mark, tell us a little bit about what you're here to do today. Well, thank you. First of all, thank you so much. Bro. <laughs> yes, my name is Mark Class. I'm the founder of the Class Kids Foundation. We started the Class Kids Foundation in 1994 as a way to give meaning to the death of my daughter, Polly, and create a legacy in her name that would be protective of children, hopefully for generations to come. We approach child safety in a very holistic manner, and one of the most important initiatives we have is what we call the Printathon, which is exactly what we're doing here today. In essence, what we're doing is we're utilizing computerized equipment to fingerprint and photograph children. We're then giving their parents a blank, uh, a bio doc with blank form fields so they can fill out the personal and private information. We're giving them also DNA collection kits, proactive child safety tips, a nine point plan, and either a Shrek browser or a 22 minute video produced by the Class Kids Foundation on what to do if your kids disappear. Um, we've done this program for the past 14 years, we've traveled to over 40 states, we've fingerprinted and photographed in excess of a million children, and we've done it all without ever charging a family or databasing any information. We decided to get his fingerprints done because we just feel really safe and secure that, you know, if anything were to ever happen to little Carson here, that he'd be, you know, able to be taken care of faster with his fingerprints and have all of his information right there on hand. And, it's a great event for the families to be out here and get some hot dogs. He's looking forward to the bounce house and just a good, fun family event. And it's great to know that the community does this to help keep their kids here safe. Okay. Want a balloon? Hot dogs, right here. Get your free hot dogs. We have a bicycle rodeo and we provide safety helmets and the bicycles and we take the kids through a simulated road with stop signs and school buses and to teach them safe bicycling etiquette. And then we'll, if they don't have helmets, then we will give them helmets. And also at the end of the day, we will raffle off a boy's bicycle and a girl's bicycle. And it's all free to the kids. We have a passport for safety. Every child gets one of these as they walk in. They visit the different vendors, they get it stamped, and they come back to the Kane CO booth and get a free prize of their choice. mobile classroom. Part of the, uh, the in the classroom portion we do hazards in the house in the far front part and the class goes into the bedroom area where they learn to get low under the smoke to get out um, and get out and stay out and once they get out go to their meeting place. It's really important for families to have a meeting place and once at their meeting place they dial the 911. The trailer has a 911 phone system built into it where they talk to a dispatcher inside the trailer simulating the 911 phone call. In about five minutes, inside the Beam Center showroom, we're going to have a puppet show for child awareness and safety, as well as a self-defense and awareness demonstration following. We brought our animals down for this event so that the children have a chance to see all these animals up close and live. This is a great opportunity for children to learn that there's all sorts of animals here in Nevada County. This here is Buckaroo Bonsai. He is the llama that we use for backpacking. We also have an assortment of animals here, chickens, ducks, we have a goat, a couple of dogs, and we also enjoy the fact that the kids have a chance to come up and pet these animals. I've been telling the children that if they get lost in the woods, to stay in one place, find a tree, stay with that tree, and that'll do several things for them. The tree will provide warmth at night, so they don't become hypothermic at night. They'll be uncomfortable, but at least they will survive if they hug that tree. 
a lot of kids will name the tree something and it will keep them company. It'll make them feel safe and make them feel secure until we can find them. We are very good at what we do. If those kids are lost in the mountains here, we will find them. That's a, that's a guarantee. We're going to find them. We will find them sooner if they're not wandering around in the woods. Something else we're trying that we would like the kids to learn that we're also doing with the Marine Patrol booth is the kids need to stay out of the rivers until after 4th of July because eight hours ago that water was frozen snow in the mountains. And up until 4th of July, even if it's 90 or 100 degrees in this river canyon down here, the water's only 40. Because eight hours before it came from a snow drift that's on the north aspect of a mountain up there. After 4th of July, most all the snow is gone, has melted off, and the water is coming from springs. Water temperature rises anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees, and that's survivable when it's up around 50 degrees. When it's down around 40, you can't swim very long before your muscles shut down. And unfortunately, many we lose about six people a year. I'm here with one of our good friends, Norm Parkin. He's, he's the real reason that this type of an event works so well in a community like ours. What's synonymous with a kid is a bike. So I did two bikes the first year and I've been given six ever since. Uh, you give this community and they give back to it. Thank you for watching this short video, which is just a small example of what happens when you work together with your community, your law enforcement and fire protection agencies to get the information out on keeping our kids safe. This event has taken on a, a life of its own over the past six years, working with the Mark Class and the Class Kids Foundation, as well as the First Alert Professional Family of Products. I would highly encourage anyone wanting to reach out to the community in which they live to put on this type of an event. There is so much important information that our children need to get by interacting with law enforcement and fire protection agencies in their local community. We do everything we can here to get the information to keep our kids safe. Keeping kids safe is fun. 